we're going to come on today with you. Yes. Because you're so worthy. Yes. So we're in the, down in the wilderness crying out to you today, Lord. Give you thanks for all that you've done. For the many blessed years you've given us. The joy of knowing Sister Edith Pence. Yes. And her family members. Bless you look down upon us. Bless us today. Help lift our spirits, Lord. We just beseech you today, knowing that you and you alone are worthy yeah. of our calling. Lord, we ask that you forgive each and every one of us of our sins today. We need you each and every day of our lives. Yes. Can't do anything without you, but through you. All things are possible. We open up our hearts to you. We invite you in right now. Yes. Bless us in the way that we stand in the need of. Bless the family. Bless the humanity in this family. Bless everyone under the sound of my voice. We all need you. And we just pray that your spirit will come. Let us continue to serve you in spirit and in truth. Keep us on the right path, we pray. And then it is our time to answer after your call. Bless us where we can hear you say that the servant of God is well done. Yes. Thank you, the faithful servant. In Jesus' name we pray.
to travel. And I said, you know, Mom, I've never been to Chicago. She said, oh, you got to get there one day. I said, well, you know, I'm a Floridian, so I don't know about the cold. She said, well, you're like any time of year. Chicago is so beautiful. But she will be truly missed. Brother Charles, I'd like to say that um, anytime you need a friend to call on, to your beautiful wife, for your whole entire family, you're in our presence. God be with you all. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. It's all right.
house to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. First Thessalonians 4, verse, 4th chapter, 17, 18 verses. Whereas not a thief they may have stepped across the threshold that we call death. It is only a step into another room and not a stepping out of the fellowship of life. It is a stepping into one of the other rooms of our Father's house. The noise of the world makes it hard for us to hear the still small voice beyond the door. The world, bright lights, blind our eyes to the soft glow of eternity. She is at peace with God now and rejoicing in his heavenly home. Be it resolved, we won't mourn as those who have no hope. Instead, we thank Thank you. 
scriptures and made sure that I am one of God. But reading and study the Bible as well. You always have a Bible quiz for me. Who who in the Bible? Her bookcase had many different versions of the Bible, but the King James was her favorite. Both of us would always say the word does not need property it can stand for itself. She loved family, especially her brothers, her sisters, her godmother, along with a host of nieces and great nieces and great nephews. Grandma was a very classy lady, an elegant woman, who will be missed by her fellowship Baptist Church family in Chicago, Illinois, and her new covenant missionary Baptist Church family here in Ocala, Florida. Her mom was always do things decently and in order before the Lord. When I opened her King James Bible, the scripture read, you're going to bookmark it. And when the nurse handed it to me, it said, Psalm 34, 1, the happiness of those who trust God. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. She lived a full life and she died peacefully in her sleep. We love her, but God loved her best. Take your breath, man. Love always. Amen. Amen. Uh, every now and then, my mother's been gone a long time. I 
I don't even need to cry because I still miss her. Amen. And it's all right. God gave me tear gas for a reason. And, and it's okay. But listen, she is in the presence of the Lord. Amen. And praise God from whom all oh, blessings flow. Amen. Amen. And I got to tell you, uh, as I heard the grands talking about uh, uh, the grandmother and I started thinking about my grandmother and how sweet and loving uh, a person that she was. And uh, I believe the Lord, and it's just Pastor Jacob's belief, I don't look for it in the Bible. I just believe that there are some special people whom the Lord just allows to sleep away. I mean, there's no pain, no, you know, they just. They just sleep on into the presence of the Lord. That's how my, my dear grandmother departed this earth. She went to sleep and woke up in hell. And I just thank God. And so I thought about this text, and I just want to share just uh, uh, three little insights from it uh, uh, concerning Mother Banks. Uh, Psalms 116, uh, verse 15. The writer says, Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Ah, oh, precious. Uh, I, I searched that word. The uh, Hebrew meaning there uh, is, is significant. Uh, it's noteworthy. And in the sight of, of the Lord is the departing of, of his saints. And so, uh, I ask myself, why is it so precious? Why is it so special, so noteworthy to Jehovah, to the Lord, uh, when his saints depart and, and, and return to him? And I thought about our journey. And we all follow this pattern on our journey. Mother Banks followed this pattern. She came into the world relying. Yes. She relied upon her parents. When Mother Banks came into the world, she couldn't cook or anything like that. She was a baby. And you know, a baby relies upon whoever has a baby. And, and if you put a baby down, a baby can't do a thing. Then you come back and get that baby and do something for that baby. So God fixed us. He fixed life. So that we'll come into the world learning that we have to rely upon somebody else. We can't come into the world and take care of ourselves. Uh, no. We must rely upon someone. And, and generally it's our parents. So Mother Banks came into the world relying and she learned that you are not by yourself. No man or woman is an island and that we must rely upon somebody. And so from relying, uh, she moved to relating. Because in the midst of that relationship of relying upon parents, she started relating to parents. See, she, 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 she learned that that's wrong. And that's that. And that's whoever the rest of the family is, as we grow and mature, we move from relying to also relating. And I read here, she's the first of eight. So certainly she was doing some relating. <laughs> Amen. And she continued to relate. And watch this. The specialness about her soul is that God enabled her to relate to so many different people that this letter came all the way from Chicago. Do I have any idea? Because someone thought it necessary, no word, that we understood how she related. Not only to her family, but also to her extended family, to a community. Uh, of people. So she moves from relying to relating, but most importantly, this I want to nail down responding. Because at some point, I believe the 
is listed here. She may have said she was 17. Uh, she received Jesus Christ as her personal Savior. She responded to the gospel. And it's the gospel message, the story of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It's our response to the truth of the gospel that moves us out of time into eternity. So Mother Banks didn't have one fear. She didn't have one uh, concern about where she would be on this day because she had already responded to the gospel. Somebody uh, once traveled, walked through an old cemetery in England, and they were walking by observing the headstones, and they noticed this strange writing on one. It read, as you walk by, think of me. For well, as you are, so once was I. And as I am, one day you will be. <laughs> So prepare yourself to follow me. But somebody must not have been quite satisfied with what was written there because they noticed the rest was etched, or scratched in, added on. And whoever added, added these words. To follow you, I'm not content. For I must know which way you went. And isn't it special? Isn't it comforting? To know that for Mother Banks, we know which way she went. That's right. When she slept out of time, she slept right into eternity in the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. And right now, she has that what scholars call the disobedient body. And she's waiting for Christ to come back at the rapture of the church so she can get her glorified body. It is well with her soul. Sure. So I encourage this family today as we remember her and celebrate her, as long as you keep calling her name and telling the stories and, and making mac and cheese and, and, and now putting, <laughs> she will never, ever be for God. Amen. And so may God continue to bless you and keep you is my prayer. After we uh, recite together the uh, disciples' prayer, we will be in the hands of Clark Funeral Home. And uh, we want to say to Brother Clark, we appreciate him and uh, his staff for all that they do in visiting me. And uh, uh, he took care of my family and my brother's departure to be with the Lord and uh, did such a wonderful job. So we appreciate him and his staff, and they will be coming after we repeat together uh, the disciples' prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For God is the kingdom, and power and the glory, forever.
able to subdue all things unto himself. John says, I heard the voice of heaven saying, Right, for henceforth blessed are they that die in the Lord, for they rest from their labors. Now may the grace of God, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, the love of Christ, where through and abide with thee, now henceforth and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Okay. 